Remember those giant satellite dishes people used to have? They were a common sight in many neighborhoods, standing tall in backyards or mounted on rooftops. These dishes were the gateway to a world of entertainment, bringing a vast array of channels right into our homes. The ones that brought hundreds of channels into your living room? Families would gather around the TV, flipping through channels to find their favorite shows, movies, and sports events. It was a time when satellite TV was the pinnacle of home entertainment. Well, the companies behind those dishes, Dish and DirecTV, are joining forces. This merger marks a significant shift in the television industry, as two of the biggest names in satellite TV come together to form a single, more powerful entity. They're merging into one big company. This union is expected to bring about numerous changes, not just for the companies involved, but also for their millions of subscribers. This surprised a lot of people. Industry experts and consumers alike were taken aback by the announcement, as the two companies have been fierce competitors for decades. The two companies were fierce rivals for years. They competed aggressively for market share, each trying to outdo the other with better deals, more channels, and superior technology. But the world of TV is changing. The rise of digital technology and the internet has transformed how we consume media. People are no longer tied to traditional TV schedules and are increasingly turning to on-demand streaming services. Traditional cable and satellite TV are losing customers to streaming services like Netflix and Hulu. These platforms offer a vast library of content that can be accessed anytime, anywhere, making them a popular choice for today's viewers. By merging, Dish and DirecTV hope to save money and become stronger. The combined resources and expertise of both companies could lead to more efficient operations and better service offerings for their customers. They want to be able to compete better with those streaming giants. The merger is seen as a strategic move to consolidate their strengths and better position themselves in the rapidly evolving media landscape. But merging two giant companies is really expensive. The process involves significant financial outlays, from legal fees to restructuring costs, and integrating the operations of two large organizations is no small feat. They need a lot of money to make it happen. Securing the necessary funding and managing the financial aspects of the merger will be critical to its success. Investors and stakeholders will be closely watching how the newly formed company navigates these challenges and seizes new opportunities in the competitive world of television and media. Enter TPG, a big investment company. They're like a wealthy friend who lends you money for a down payment on a house. TPG is lending DISH $2 billion to help pay for the merger with DirecTV. This loan is crucial for the deal. Without it, the merger might not happen. TPG is taking a risk here. They're betting that the combined DISH DirecTV company will be successful. If the company does well, TPG will make a lot of money from its loan. But if the company struggles, TPG could lose big. This merger is a big deal for another company too, ATAN DT. You see, ATAN DT used to own DirecTV. They bought it a few years ago, thinking it would be a smart move. But it didn't work out so well. DirecTV kept losing customers. ATAN DT was stuck with a shrinking business, so ATAN DT decided to cut its losses. They spun off DirecTV into its own company again. And now that spun off company is merging with Dish. If the merger is successful, ATAN DT might be kicking themselves for letting DirecTV go. This merger gives DISH a lot of power. It will now control a huge number of satellite TV customers, but it also comes with a big challenge. Remember that $2 billion loan from TPG? Well, DISH is now billions of dollars in debt. DISH needs to find a way to pay that debt back. They're hoping that the merger will help them save money in the long run. They're also hoping that the combined company will be more attractive to customers, but it's a risky bet. Section 5. DirecTV's Uncertain Future Finding a place in the streaming world What about DirecTV? Well, they were struggling on their own. They were losing customers to streaming just like everyone else. This merger is their chance for a fresh start, but it's unclear what role DirecTV will play in the new combined company. Will they keep the DirecTV brand name, or will they be absorbed into DISH? And most importantly, can they find a way to attract new customers in a world dominated by streaming? Section 6. TPG's High-Risk, High-Reward Play Betting on a Comeback TPG is a company that's used to taking risks. They invest in all sorts of businesses, hoping to make a profit. 
Their decision to lend $2 billion to DISH is a perfect example of their high-risk, high-reward strategy. If the DISH Direct TV merger is successful, TPG will make a lot of money, but if it fails, they could lose a significant chunk of that $2 billion. It's a gamble, but that's the world of high finance. Section 7, The Consumer Impact. Will prices go up or down? So, what does this merger mean for you, the average person who just wants to watch their favorite shows? It's a question that has many layers and no simple answers. That's the big question, isn't it? With so many factors at play, it's hard to predict the exact outcome. The answer is, as always, it's complicated. There are numerous variables to consider, from market dynamics to regulatory responses. On the one hand, less competition is often bad for consumers. When fewer companies control the market, they can set higher prices without fear of losing customers. It can lead to higher prices and fewer choices. Consumers might find themselves paying more for the same services or having fewer options to choose from. On the other hand, Dish and DirecTV might argue that the merger will allow them to offer better services and lower prices in the long run. They could potentially streamline operations, reduce costs, and pass those savings on to consumers. We'll have to wait and see how it all plays out. The true impact of the merger will only become clear over time as the companies integrate and adjust their strategies. In the meantime, it's important for consumers to stay informed and be prepared for potential changes. Keep an eye on your bills and be ready to explore alternative options if necessary. Whether prices go up or down, the key is to remain vigilant and proactive. By staying aware of market trends and being willing to adapt, you can make the best choices for your viewing needs. Ultimately, the goal is to continue enjoying your favorite shows and movies without breaking the bank. So, keep watching, stay informed, and make the choices that work best for you and your family. Section 8. Competition in the Age of Streaming Can a combined Dish Direct TV compete? The biggest challenge facing Dish and Direct TV is the rise of streaming. More and more people are cutting the cord on traditional cable and satellite TV. They're choosing to subscribe to streaming services instead. Can a combined Dish Direct TV company find a way to compete in this new landscape? That's the million dollar question. They'll need to offer compelling content, innovative features, and competitive pricing to lure customers back from the clutches of Netflix, Amazon, and the like. Section 9. Regulatory Hurdles Will the government approve? Before this merger can be finalized, it needs to be approved by the government. Specifically, the Department of Justice will scrutinize the deal to make sure it doesn't violate antitrust laws. The government's job is to ensure that mergers don't harm competition. If the Justice Department believes that the Dish Direct TV merger will lead to less competition and higher prices for consumers, they could block the deal or require significant changes. Section 10. What's next? The future of television. The Dish Direct TV merger is just one example of the massive changes happening in the television industry. The way we watch TV is evolving rapidly. Streaming is king, and traditional cable and satellite companies are scrambling to adapt. Will this merger be the start of a new era for television? Will Dish and Direct TV find a way to thrive in the age of streaming? Or will they become relics of a bygone era? Only time will tell. Section 11, Conclusion A New Era for Television The Dish Direct TV merger, fueled by TPG's $2 billion loan, is a huge gamble. This merger represents a significant shift in the television industry, one that could redefine how we consume media. The stakes are incredibly high and the financial implications are enormous. With billions of dollars on the line, the success or failure of this merger could have far-reaching consequences for both companies and the industry as a whole. It's a bet on the future of television, a future where streaming services dominate and traditional cable and satellite companies struggle to survive. As more and more viewers cut the cord and turn to streaming platforms like Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime, the traditional models of cable and satellite TV are becoming increasingly obsolete. This merger is an attempt to adapt to this new reality, to stay relevant in a rapidly changing market. Only time will tell if this gamble will pay off. The transition from traditional TV to streaming is not without its challenges. There are numerous hurdles to overcome, including technological advancements, changing consumer preferences, and intense competition from established streaming giants. 
The success of this merger will depend on how well DISH and DirecTV can navigate these challenges and position themselves as leaders in the new television landscape. One thing is for sure, the television landscape is changing dramatically. The advent of new technologies, such as 4K resolution, virtual reality, and interactive TV, is transforming the way we watch and interact with television. These innovations are creating new opportunities for content creators and broadcasters, but they also require significant investment and adaptation. The way we watch TV is evolving rapidly, and the companies that adapt best to this new reality will be the ones that thrive. The integration of smart home technology, the rise of on-demand content, and the increasing importance of personalized viewing experiences are all factors that will shape the future of television. Companies that can leverage these trends and offer innovative solutions will be well positioned to succeed in this new era. The Dish Direct TV merger is just one chapter in this ongoing saga. As the television industry continues to evolve, we can expect to see more mergers, acquisitions, and strategic partnerships. These developments will reshape the industry and determine the future of how we consume media. The story of television is far from over, and the next few years will be crucial in defining its next chapter.